Welcome back to my channel. So this is Mr. Ibarra and we are going to discuss synthetic division. Okay. When a polynomial is to be divided by a binomial of the form x minus c, we can shorten the process by using the synthetic division. But the question is how? Okay, so let's have our first example. So use synthetic division in the following function operations. Okay. So f of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 10x squared minus 9x plus 15 div divided by g of x is equal to x minus 4. Okay, so the first step that you're going to do here is to equate x minus 4 to 0. So x minus 4. So equal to 0. So add 4 both sides to get the value of x. So, x is equal to 4. Okay. So, we are going to use 4 to our synthetic division here. Okay. Next. So, the next step is you should get the coefficients of the given polynomial functions. So, we have 3, negative 10, negative 9, and 15. Okay. Next step. So, I want you to write multiplication sign here and addition sign here. Okay? So, you won't be confused every time you do synthetic division. Again, multiplication outside and addition inside. Okay. So, the next step. So, bring down 3. 3 times 4. That's 12. So, negative 10 plus 12. That's 2, positive 2. 2 times 4, that's 8. So, negative 9 plus 8, that is negative 1. Negative 1 times 4, that's negative 4. So, 15 minus 4, that is 11. Okay? So, this uh, sum, or the sum of these integers will be our coefficients of our uh, quotient. So since we are dividing x cubed to x, so x cubed divided by x, that is x squared. So remember this. So x cubed divided by x. Remember when we are dividing terms with exponent, so we are just going to sub sub subtract the Exponent. So, we remember we have 1 here, 3 minus 1, so 2, so x squared. Okay. So, our answer will be 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 plus 11. Since this is remainder, so we have to get the divisor as the denominator. So, 11x minus so this is your answer. Okay. This time I want you to try to solve for this. So divide f of x to gx. So our f of x is x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 30 divided by x minus 2. Okay. Feel free to pause the video to check your answer. And to check also if you are learning. Okay? So, let's answer. So, the first step again, so equate x minus 2 to 0. So, add 2 both sides. So, x is equal to 2. And we are going to use 2 again for our synthetic division. So, 2. Okay, sorry for my line. Okay. So, next step, get the coefficients. So, 1, 6, negative 1, and negative 30. Okay. So, next step. So, I want you to write this again so you won't be confused. So, 1, bring down. 1 times 2 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So, negative 1 plus 16, that is 15. 15 times 2, that is 30. 
So answer so our, our remainder is 0. So again, how are you going to write this as a polynomial? So we have x cubed divided by x, so that is x squared. So our first leading term, so x squared or 1x squared plus 8x plus 15. And we don't have the remainder. So that is your answer. Okay, next example. So we have 3y cubed minus 7y squared minus 20 divided by y minus 3. So how are you going to solve for this? So same thing as, with, as we did earlier. So y minus 3. So uh, let's make it faster. So that's 3. Okay, so just get the inverse of this term. Next. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Next. So, get the coefficients. So, we have 3, negative 7. So, our coefficient for y is 0. So, don't forget that. Okay? So, to complete the order of our polynomial. So, that next, we have negative 20. Okay. So, same thing. So, times and add. So, bring down 3. 3 times 3, it's 9. So, negative 7 plus 9, that's 2. Okay? So, 2 times 3, 6. 6, so 6. 6 times 3, that is 18. So, negative 20 plus 18, that's negative 2. Okay? So, let's write it now as polynomial. So, 3x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 8 plus 6, sorry minus 2 over y minus 3 so we have a visitor here a mosquito I don't know if you can see it yeah, we have visitor, miss mosquito wait, it's going to kill it okay, so we're done this is our answer Three x squared plus two x plus six minus two over y minus. 2. Oh, sorry. Okay, next. Let's go now with our last example. So, so x. So that is equal to negative two. Again, get the coefficient. So two. Negative one. Negative 7 and 14. So next step. So 2, bring down. So 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4. So add, that is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 2, that's 10. So negative 7 plus 10, that's 3. 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6. So we have a remainder here, which is 8. So let's write it as polynomial. So 2x cubed divided by x, so that is x squared. So that is 2x squared negative 5x plus 3 minus 8 over x plus 2. That is your answer. Okay, so let's see if you really learned from this video. So, please answer this and put your answers uh, in the comment section down below. Okay? So, for those who will get the correct answer, I will heart it. Okay? Don't copy to your classmate. Okay? Thank you.